Over the last year, we've been renovating a 2007 Dodge Sprinter camper van. Now that we've had a chance to use it and really get a feel for things, we realized we need extra power in here. I'm Erin for TechGadgetsCanada.com, and after doing some research and shopping around, we opted to get some solar panels for the roof of our van from a company called Renogy. We installed two 100-watt, 12-volt monocrystalline solar panels. And in this video, I'll walk you through installing the panels, at least the basics anyway, how they work and my overall thoughts on going solar for our camper van. An early heads up that if you end up liking this video and finding it helpful to please mash that like button and give me a sub since it does help me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy and learn from. So why did we choose solar? When we built the van, we debated getting solar power and initially opted just to install a 12 volt electrical system with a 100 amp hour battery. The battery charges off the main van battery while we drive and it'll last us somewhere between 12 and 24 hours depending on what we're running. Connected to the battery are a max fan, our truck fridge, some LED lights, a small marine water pump, and some USB plugs for phone charging. We also added an AC inverter so we could use regular powered appliances and gadgets in the van. We connected an AC and USB power bar to that that we flush mounted into the kitchen counter. We quickly realized after a couple of road trips that the single battery wasn't enough power for an entire day, let alone a whole weekend, without needing to drive around to recharge it. Knowing we're often parked for the weekend, we decided it was high time to investigate the power of the sun to recharge us. We chose the standard 100 watt solar panel that Renogy carries since these are a bit shorter and perfect for fitting our footprint on the roof of the van. The panels come with a junction box and MC4 leads for connecting the solar controller that we got as well. So how does solar power work in a camper van? To simplify, solar power harvests the sun's heat and light, or its energy, and turns it into energy that you can use. Solar panels, in the most basic sense, work by converting that available sunlight into usable electricity, and that power is called wattage. Watts are made up of amps and volts, and different panels have different ratings for amps and volts depending on your needs. Renogy offers two types of solar kits. There's on-grid kits and off-grid kits. On-grid systems, by the way, are designed to feed your unused electricity back into the power grid to reduce or eliminate your utility bills. Off-grid options, on the other hand, are self-contained and they're meant to be mobile. That's the type of kit we're using in this installation here on the van. So how do you know how much power you need in your off-grid world? We made a list of all the devices we plan on running in the van. We got the wattage information or the amps and volts of the product, and then considered the average run time per device. With all of that information, we consulted with Renogy's team who were really helpful and helped us accurately size the system so that it runs effectively and efficiently. Renogy's website says their off-grid kits are pretty DIY ready with a user-friendly installation process and all their installation guides are available online. Since we have some experience with doing electrical, we opted to do the install ourselves. Yep. We laid the panels out and mounted them to corrosion resistant power strut metal rails and secured the array to the roof with stainless steel fasteners. Then we ran the cable along the roof and in through a hole in the rear of the van connecting it to our solar charge controller. Once everything was set up and connected the system started generating power as soon as the sun came up. I could see ours working as soon as the wires were connected and after our first full day of sunlight it was enough to keep the battery topped off and ready to use. Some of the key features of these Renogy monocrystalline panels that drew us to them, the panels have a multi-layered sheet lamination design, which is supposed to mean long life. They have something called bypass diodes, and those are supposed to minimize power drops caused by shade and to give you better performance in low light or cloudy environments. They're also supposed to withstand high winds and snow loads, which are going to make them perfect for our Alberta winters. To test the solar panels out, we turned the fridge on and left it on, and it stayed cold for days, getting its power just from our solar array. We've only been able to use these for a little bit this summer, and we're going to be taking the van out here for more testing and use so that we can get an even better feel for how these panels are working. We might also be opting to add another battery so we can keep enough power on hand for things like cooking, refrigeration, ventilation, and even powering our mobile offices with laptops and maybe even my YouTube TV lights. I also picked up a new device called the Renogy Phoenix or the PHX100. It's a small soda can sized power bank that can recharge our phones up to six or nine times or a laptop about once or twice. This is our just in case backup or one we can use outside the van. 
One of the other questions I had about getting solar panels was how do I maintain them? Well, our van is intended mainly for summer camping. We might be adding a heater so we can get out in the colder months, but that did get me wondering, can I just leave the solar panels hooked up on the van here for months on end? Renogy tells me they can be left connected for short to medium time periods, but if you know it's going to be longer than about one to three months or so, the company recommends disconnecting the batteries. Panels themselves should be fine. If it's three to six or up to nine months, you'll want to maintain about an 80% charge on the batteries during that time. So a trickle charge every now and then would do, uh, that would help them maintain their long life. It's also recommended you wipe down the panels and check on your connections. For now, we are really happy with our decision to add solar power and we really like the Renogy panels and the service we got. If you want to look into getting solar panels of your own, you can see what's available on Renogy's website and use the promo code or the discount code Tech Gadgets Canada for a discount off your order. If you want to read more about our van conversion or these panels as we continue to use them, head over to techgadgetscanada.com where you can post any questions you have either there on the blog or as always here on the YouTube channel. If you like this video and found it helpful, please hit that like button and consider subscribing since it does help me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy and learn from. Thanks for watching. I'm Erin. You can find me on Twitter or Instagram until the next time at ErinLYYC. You can also catch me at facebook.com slash techgadgetscanada.